how to set up and transfer the data over from an iPhone to your new Galaxy S24 series. Now in this video, I'm going to use a USB cable for a faster transfer process. If you don't have a USB cable, you can transfer wirelessly. So the first thing is I'm going to go and uh, on my iPhone, go and open up App Store so we can download an app called Smart Switch. So on your old iPhone, open up App Store, then look for the app called Smart Switch. And then we're going to install it. Now tap on the Get button or Install button. Now because I have already installed Samsung Smart Switch, I can simply now just open it. Once you open it, it should say let's go. So tap on let's go to transfer your data over. And here on my Samsung device, I'm going to um, switch it on. So if you haven't already switched on your device, press on the side button to turn on the phone. Then tap on the drop down and select a language. Here I'm going to select English United States and then tap on the OK button. After that, tap on the start button and then tap on agree to all and then tap on agreed and here it's a sign in automatically to copy settings account and more from another phone or tablet keep your other phone or tablet nearby and unlock so what i'm going to do is i'm going to plug in the cable to the android phone and the iphone and then now i'm going to tap on iphone or ipad and say choose a wi-fi network so I'll tap on my Wi-Fi and put in the password. After that, connect your device and then tap on next. Now in here it says getting your phone ready and this uh, will take several minutes. So you need to be patient here and just wait for the phone to complete the, this process. Okay, on the next page, you can choose to sign into your Google account now or you can do that later on. If you already have a Google account, just simply sign in. It will make things much easier later on. So here I will put in my ID. So I'll put in the ID and then put in your account password. Okay, once you have signed to your device, tap on, I will be using this device or my child will be using this device and tap on the next button. Then tap on, I agree. Now wait for your device to get the account info. From here, say copy data from your iPad or iPhone. So tap on next, then tap on next, then tap on allow. And then it's right here, we need to connect the phone via the cable. So I'm just gonna unplug that and then plug the cable back in. And I say connecting to transfer your data. So the phone will now uh, ask the iPhone uh, to grab the data over. So on your iPhone, tap on the trust button so that it will allow the Samsung Galaxy S24 to access the data on your iPhone. Now on the Samsung phone, tap on the next button and it will now search through the iPhone to see what kind of data you have. And it found that on my device, I've got calls and contacts, messages, apps, data from the iPhone apps, settings, home screen. Yeah, I have images and videos and audio and documents. So select what you want to transfer. Now you can see some of this category have the right arrows. You can tap on that to expand out. And from here, you can choose what you want to select to bring over to your uh, Samsung phone. And here I've got messages. Uh, I can uh, select all period, or I can select uh, just messages for, from the last 30 days, last three months, and so on. So you can go into each of these items and select what you want to transfer over. Now I can then, uh, for images, it doesn't look like it gives me the option to select what I can transfer over. So I'm just gonna select the checkbox and tap on the transfer button. Now transferring data over can take a while, so you need to be patient here. Now I say there are 29 uh, apps selected. So in here I can tap on the install button to install all of them, or you can choose to only install some of them. And here's the transfer WhatsApp chat over. So 
so scan the QR code uh, with your iPhone to open WhatsApp and then uh, start. So we can open up the uh, camera now because uh, this is just specifically to WhatsApp. I'm just gonna skip for now because not everyone uh, use WhatsApp on the device. So I'm just I'm going to choose stop transfer for now. But if you uh, do use WhatsApp, you can uh, open up the camera and scan the QR code so that you can bring the data over. Now on this page, tap on the more button and then tap on accept. On this uh, screen here, you can set up a, a lock screen pin or password. So in here you can use face recognition, fingerprints, pin, password or pattern. I'm going to make it easy and choose pin. Next, put in uh, your pin and then tap on continue and then put in the same pin again to confirm then tap on ok and here say access your assistant with her google tap on more then tap on i agree and then tap on more and then i agree so i think uh, on this page here uh, access your assistant without unlocking your device uh, and if you want you can tap on agreed or skip And I say getting your phone ready. So back on my iPhone. And here say one account, any device. So you need to sign to your Samsung account. You can do that uh, by putting in your Samsung ID. Or you can sign in with your Google account. Or you can even skip uh, this for now. So I can choose forgot password or don't have an account. And here I can create a Samsung account. I can say forgot ID or forgot password. Or I can choose set up later in settings. Then scroll down and tap on skip. Then we can choose all. So depending on what you want, you can um, you can remove some of the items here. Or you can uh, select it and then tap on agree. Then tap on agree uh, for smart suggestions and customization service. Next, choose your navigation style. So that is for the bottom down here. You can choose a button style or gesture style and then tap on next. After that, tap on home screen and app screen or home screen only. Now with this option here, it will allow you to uh, display everything on the home screen. So this will include apps and shortcuts. Whereas if you choose home and app screen, it will separate all the apps into app screen and your home screen can have uh, simply widgets and uh, uh, shortcuts and, and apps. So tap on next. And then here you can choose your keyboard layout. At the top here is the extra key so you can do more. And at the bottom here, type without distraction. So select your layout and tap on next. And now it says, please wait. So we just gonna wait for your phone to proceed to the next step. Okay, now the phone is getting recommended apps. And you can see on the iPhone here uh, in my smart switch, it says all done. So I can tap on the close button. So if I swipe down here, um, in my dynamic islands on the iPhone, it shows that uh, it is currently connected to the USB cable. So I'm just going to not pull out the cable for now until uh, it says all finished. So now it says all setup finished. So the device is all now set up. And uh, I want to make sure it is um, transferring all the data I uh, transfer over. So I'm going to uh, say open up uh, gallery here. And you can see in my gallery, it still hasn't got any data. Uh, coming over yet. So I would um, leave the cable as how it is until all the data has been completely transferred over then you can disconnect the cable. So it's still showing uh, completing the setup, organizing your transfer data. Perhaps the data is already transferred over, it's just that the phone needs sometimes to reorganize. So here in my gallery there's still nothing. Um, just going to give it a few moments. So I'm just going to tap on allow on my iPhone here. So a smart switch. Now if you don't see anything yet, just be patient. It does take some time to uh, transfer the data over. Just be patient and the phone is still transferring the data, the data on the background. While it may seem like nothing's happening, but uh, if you'll be patient uh, shortly, 
uh, the data will transfer over such as your pictures, uh, documents, messages and uh, contacts. So uh, just be patient while it's doing all that. Uh, eventually all your data will be transferred over. So on the Samsung phone, if you open up Smart Switch, you can see here it's organizing your transfer data. So assuming the data has already transferred over, and so you can now disconnect the USB cable. So I'll do that. So I'll disconnect the cable now because the data has already been transferred to your Samsung phone. It's just doing some background work to reorganize the data. So you can see in my gallery, it's still showing nothing, but on my iPhone, I do actually have uh, photos in here. So we're just gonna wait uh, for a few moments for the data to come over. And if I swipe down, you can see it's still uh, doing some uh, work on the background there. Okay, now after waiting for some time, you can see the photo has been successfully transferred over. And that's it. So, uh, I guess this has uh, uh, finished and complete the transfer uh, process. And uh, if you need to uh, further customize your device, you can go into settings. So tap on settings and in your settings, you can sign into your Samsung account. You can set up your display. Uh, you can go into connections to set up your Bluetooth, uh, Wi-Fi settings, airplane mode. You can uh, set up your SIM card and so on. And here you can go in and set your uh, sounds and vibration. You can change your display settings in here and you can view your battery usage, set up your wallpaper and style. You can change your phone themes. Uh, you can set up your security and privacy for your device. And that's it. So a lot of settings uh, in the settings page that you can customize uh, for your brand new device. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for my videos.